Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. You join me in field number 30 where we're currently doing some mowing. Now obviously this isn't our own field, this is a field which we're doing as a contract. But it's not just a case of mowing, we do have to do the full process of mowing, rowing, well, tedding as well, and then baling and picking the bells up. Now there were actually two jobs for doing this particular thing, this mowing and baling job. Um, and I decided to go for this one because the other one was for silage and I didn't really want to do silage since the horses which we have don't even require it. Now it would still be good to do because of the money which you can get from the silage bells but this is uh, better in a way because of the benefit of keeping some of the surplus uh, bells at the end. Not all of them have to be sold which is good. So uh, yeah what we're going to do is the full process of this and then at the end it's going to be quite a tricky job uh, just putting the bales in the cell point a few at a time uh, because I don't want to tip the whole load in because we'll obviously lose them all. We'll get paid for them but we're not going to get any um, for our own storage. Um, so it will be very important and good if we can keep some for ourselves. So uh, yeah, let me just continue here and we'll uh, hopefully be able to get the tether out in a few minutes. Everything is leased. I thought it would be the best thing to do. Much bigger machinery and well we don't have an auto stacker anyway so it would have been a case of using the front loader and the trailer which is fine that actually wouldn't be too much of a problem um, but yeah it's just slower it's a shame really because the field has loads of grass surrounding it but it just won't let me cut it because it has to be within the field boundary if we could use the least machinery um, for all of this surrounding land as well and get to keep the bales we'd be doing so well but unfortunately, it's not that simple. The vehicle slash tool is reserved for contracting work. I probably should have been going across the field because it seems to be struggling a little bit going uphill. Uh, we do get to a fairly low mass bra. Uh, but anyway, I can do a different approach with the baler if I have to. Because uh, it is the same tractor. The same tractor is running everything. And it doesn't appear to be the tractor which can rotate the seat so that you can attach the two mows together. I did want to do that, unless for some reason I'm not getting the control up. I can't see an option for rotating the seat. No, I don't think so. What is it? A Voucher? A T-Series or something? Not too sure. Yeah, three miles per hour. Could be better. I should have gone across the field. Anyway, our horse is now worth £37,000. They really are getting better by the day. I think they go up by about £6,000. I think they were 31000 yesterday. So, yeah, that's quite a, an appreciation. It's very good. We're getting very close to the boundary. I think we can, uh, yeah, we can go across once more, go back up again, and then that'll probably do it. Yeah, if you look down from above, you can see the difference. The texture below is much lighter within the field boundary. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be the end of this. I hope that E has stopped working because the tank is empty. I do have the drill working, so it's run out of seed. That's going to have to be filled up. Or I could put it onto the option of getting the worker to buy the seed as it goes. I don't know if that's more expensive. It always feels more expensive. Because you can see the money just plummeting down on your bank account, but um, yeah, it might be very similar. It looks to be getting on pretty well. Good to see. Look at all these weeds though. It's cultivating them back in. And that is going to do it. Just putting a nice straight edge on here. Making sure we can get the most of it. I am actually going slightly over the border, so that's good. Bit of extra grass. Seems to be the only way of doing it, just by tricking the mower into thinking you're actually still in the field. Uh, right, so, yeah, we'll fold things over, take it back over to the store, and then we'll pick up the tether. Try and get these bits as well. Okay, yep, seems to be everything. Switch things off, there we go. Lift up. Uh, well, I suppose I could just leave them here. It doesn't give you any extra money for taking them back to the store. As it is so close, you might as well do. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll move on to the next tool. It would be nice to have a different tractor as well, but I suppose we can't be too picky. Not really much reason for it. 
Although it does seem to be not that powerful. There's the rear mower. We also have the merge max, uh, which is just over there. I always have it set to the center. Because I think with this one, unlike a wind dryer, you can actually get it to go to a certain side. But I always just put it to the center anyway. I might as well do. But before that, we have the very large tether. We get given some pretty big machinery. Here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, possibly one of the largest tethers you can get. Although I haven't really experienced them that much in 19. Tethers, there we go. It is the biggest, right. It's the largest one. Let's make some hay. And anything I miss, I need to come back to, because it's quite important I do only get hay. I don't want grass. It's working quite well. Oh no! <laughs> so easy to miss a bit. Uh, especially when it turns itself off on the edge if you go over the side. That can be an issue when uh, picking it up, but yeah, we are doing it. Well, yeah, we're going to do it with the baler, so it won't be quite as problematic. If it was a loading wagon, uh, if we picked up the wrong material, it's going to recognise the whole lot as the, the grass material. Uh, but with a bale, obviously it's just going to do, at least I thought it, I think it will do, hay. Um, but it would be interesting to see, because you can bale straw, grass and hay uh, within the game. So, yeah, I don't know. I just need to really make sure that it is actually hay, that it starts to bale. And I'm missing bits again. Yeah, so next job, as you'll probably be aware is windrowing, or just raking, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll be getting the baler out, and then finally, the auto stacker. So it's actually not going to take anywhere near as long as the job over in field number three, which I did a few days ago. The reason why is because we don't have the massive climb up the hill. It's all the way up the mountain, uh, and we're just right next to the shop. So changing tools only takes a few minutes. I think the whole process of haymaking is very satisfying. Even watching a haymaking video in real life, um, I find incredibly satisfying the process of some lovely fresh grass being cut down drying it out, turning it over then rowing it up and then baling it and that's pretty much it done Just the finishing touches uh, but it is going to refuse to actually turn the grass which is right on the edge of the field which is a real shame Unless I can persuade it to uh, turn over. No, it's not going to. It's just going to sit there, busy being grass. Uh, right, I think there is a piece up there I've missed, so I'll go back and get anything which I know that I've missed. That should prevent any issues in the future. But it, it should just convert it to hay anyway, because that is the uh, most dominant uh, product type here. Yep, and it's not going to take that at all, so we are done. Once again, we'll fold things up, take it back over to the store, and we're going to grab the windrow. Signposts, my worst enemy, as it has been pointed out several times in these videos. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but in, in FS19 I just seem to hit pretty much every signpost I go near. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but... No, I feel to. I feel to hit pretty much every signpost. They are very weak though, they don't have any resistance at all. It's just like the slightest nudge and they're over. Oh, that one you can actually push, nice. Yeah, that, that is quite a... Yeah, <laughs> that is an interesting sign. And after our very long journey back over here, we're going to unfold and start the rowing process. So selected work mode is currently left, which I don't want. I want to have it set to uh, middle or centre. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So left control Y, middle, there we go. Uh, I think, you, yeah, if you were to do it to the left and then keep going back down to the left again, you'd have a massive swath, but that might be a bit too much. Um, although, I might try it. That, oh, that could be quite fun. 
Might become a little bit too much to handle, but even so. Let's go for it. As for the grass which refuses to turn to hay, uh, we'll just have to forget about it. Yeah, this could be good. I'll get piling out the side. I'll get as much as I can do. I've never really thought of doing it this way. I've always thought that just doing it to the centre is easier, but it probably isn't. I'm putting two into one. Right, so moments of truth. Swing round and try that again. Create a really large swath. I don't want to be too close to the swath. But yeah, that is good. That is very good. But you can just put it to the centre if you want to. It's going to reduce the bailing times, providing I don't make the swath too wide. It's not struggling too much, so we'll keep going up and down. Five miles per hour, I think, is the slowest it's been. Um, but we're not going to have... Uh, much bailing to do at all, because it's just a few swaths to do. How many times can I say swaths in a video? Yeah, they're huge. So I'm going to go with um, five or six. Yeah, probably six for the entire field. Six rows. Five rows. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Yeah, five. This is going to be the centre one, so yeah, five. That's satisfying too, watching it go up into the machine. I'll take the minimap off. Nice. Five it is. Yep, there we go. So, time to uh, grab the baler. A lot of machinery changes. Uh, but it will all be worth it in the end. Providing we get to keep a, a lot of bales. I don't know how many it's going to be. It might only be five, but uh, well, it's better than nothing. It's not even our grass. Big swaths. Right, here we come with the baler. Uh, so, like I say, this is going to be a fairly short job because it is just five swaths that we need to do. Um, and, well, it might be uh, a little bit longer if I miss a few bits, but still shouldn't take too long. It is quite wide. Uh, plus, that is actually struggling. I don't know if it's the amount that's going into it, or just that we're going uphill, but... Well, if you can't do it, we'll have to go downhill bailing, but even so... Shouldn't have any issues. Three miles per hour. Seems a bit slow. Still, that bale is processing quickly. That is looking really impressive, the amount we're getting out of this, and, well, the rate that it was filling up. Unfortunately, this last swath isn't going to be uh, very fast at all, because it is only one of the uh, one width of the, mer the merge max, but, um, yes, the others were really impressive, which you could hopefully see in the time-lapse. Um, so, yeah, we'll just finish off here, and it'll be time to grab the auto stacker, which is the last machine. I think it's going to be two loads of the auto stacker. The first full load will go all to the cell point, and then the second load, provided there is a second load, will be the one we have to sort out. And uh, yeah, the good thing is with this baler we can unload it.
so close to full. Um, so yeah, we'll turn it off. Empty it. If only I could get enough just to finish that bale. That is so annoying. There's got to be a bit just over here. Please let me take some of this. It's so close. Yes. Oh, that is so close. There we go. Well, that was good. An extra bale. Right, so get rid of the baler. And I'll be back with the stacker. It looks like he's going over to the barn, so that isn't too far at all. It's very handy. It's not going to take too long to fill either. But uh, yes, as I predicted, the, uh, the tractor did struggle with the baler going uphill. It was only just hitting one mile per hour, one mile per hour going uphill. Seemed to be a bit underpowered for it. It's a shame we didn't get given a bigger tractor. So that is the 16th bale. Uh, looks like we do still have around 16 or possibly more over there. So let's go and sell this first load. Coming through, car. Me first. Whilst we're up here, we'll take a look at the case tractor, which is currently doing the drilling. It might have finished. Yeah, I think it has done, actually. The money has stopped dropping. Oh, uh, no, I think it's just hit... Yeah, it's hit a tree. Oh, no. It's managed to, uh, for some reason, end up down here. It was working at the top before... Oh, what is going on here? My workforce is completely incompetent. Come on. Out the road. I'll we'll soon be getting in trouble <laughs> if we start leaving the tractors in the middle of the road. Here he goes then. Let's see what we can get for these. Oh, nothing of course. But it is 58%, so that is a good sign that we're going to have quite a few for ourselves. Okay, so I could have a really quick count. 2, 4... 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There's more than 16 here. So it is over two full loads. Um, but we know it's actually less than one of these. So if I put 14 bales... Would it be 14 bales? Oh, I don't know. My mathematical skills aren't that good. But one full load of this was 58%. So how many bales would we have to load up on the next one to get 100%? Is it 15 or is it 14? Oh, that is so annoying. I guess we'll do 15 because um, we'll get paid for it anyway, won't we? We'll get paid, so it's fine. Oh, I'm ramming. That's the 15th bale. Leaving. Oh, three. Still, that's still, uh, well, that's 4, 8, 12. That's 12,000 litres. Not bad. If I do get paid for one of these, then my calculation was actually wrong. Um, so, let's see. Uh, yes, we, <laughs> we did get paid for at least one of them. Still, we got a, a £2,122 bonus for that. Good. Uh, so, yeah, back for the final three. Yeah, so although 3 doesn't look like much, it's actually a lot, because I bought a bale before, just one of these bales. It cost me £650, pretty expensive. Um, and yeah, this is just going to be able to be put into our storage. I don't think it'd be too long until we have to give one to the horses, but this is just like a backup supply. It's good, and if, of course, we don't want them, I could just sell them and make quite a bit of money. As for where we're going to put them at the moment, I'm not too sure. Um, but I do need to allocate a space for them. Like I say, as soon as we sell some horses, we're going to be able to uh, put another shed up, which is going to be really helpful. So I suppose at the moment we'll just put it next to the dog. The dog can uh, stare at some bales for a while. Um, but yeah, we're about to claim our reward for the job which we've just done. So we're going to here. 4,813. Collect. Nice. So we finish off with 48,510. And like I say, soon that's going to be much higher. 
36,000. They're worth 17. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.